My name is Wesley Morvik. I'm an assistant scientist in the Genomics and Microbiome Science Group at DuPont Nutrition and Health. Well, in the GEM group, or Genomics and Microbiome Science, uh, we work primarily with starter cultures and probiotic bacteria. And in our group, we use high throughput sequencing and more traditional techniques like PCR and culturing um, to really survey our bacteria. And uh, when I say that, we do a couple things. We, um, we mine it for any, any valuable genes or um, mode of action, and we also look uh, for safety. Um, we also try to establish what strain it is and um, then develop assays to detect that strain in products. And then finally, we also um, do microbiome uh, surveys with clinical studies that we do using our probiotics. So I graduated with a bachelor's from Madison, UW-Madison, and uh, from there I entered the, the science industry right away. I worked at different companies and different jobs. I started at DuPont in the quality control group and it really gave me a, a good exposure to the products and uh, the supply chain process as well as uh, learning about all the different groups. I interned with the GEM group um, for uh, about half a year and then uh, I have been hired there ever since. So I think the, the best thing would be to really um, just go online really simply and look at the array of products that you can um, help support. Um, and once you find a field that really interests you, um, go online, uh, look at the news, see what the challenges the company is facing, and also try to look at um, the, the financial reports if it's a public company. Look at uh, hidden things like uh, R&D spend or um, you know how, how it's been doing over the past quarter. It, it gives you some more information that you might not see online in headlines. Um, once you've done that, you know, try to put, get your foot in the door, talk to anyone um, in person or through social media, and uh, don't be afraid to take a risk. The, the most valuable um, conversation I've ever had uh, was for an interview I was horribly underqualified for, um, but I ended up having the job which is right now. It's the job that I currently have, and um, so if I would never have had that conversation, I wouldn't have gotten this job. So uh, there was a report put out um, in 2014 that estimated that the probiotics business is going to be worth about $50 billion by uh, 2020 um, compared to $30 billion today. So um, for the probiotics industry, it's looking quite well. Um, with that increase in demand, there's going to be an increased uh, need for regulatory and um, consumer base. And in our group, we help that uh, a lot by both working really closely with regulatory agencies to um, establish the safety of our products, as well as networking with um, different universities and uh, contract research, or research organizations, um, really to gain as much information and keep up to date with technologies as they come out. So uh, in total, I think uh, the outlook is really good. Um, if you want a position that is in the industry but kind of straddles the academia side, um, I would definitely suggest trying to, to get into this field of work. So um, I think like most people, my favorite, favorite microbe is based on the first one I really started studying, which is Streptococcus thermophilus. And um, I got the, the opportunity to work with the Banfield group um, to study different CRISPR systems in Strep thermophilus. And it, it was really cool to see evolution on a daily scale.